you guys what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another kind of the top five kind of lip swatch video in today's video we're going to be talking about my top five lipsticks from mac if your experience is anything like mine you walk into a mac store or a mac counter and there is like a million lipsticks in front of you and you're like girl how the hell am I supposed to know what color is going to look good, what color isn't, which ones are actually worth the money, which formulas are good? Um, it's it's basically like trying to move around a minefield. Yep. <laughs> so in this video today, I'm going to be showing you my top five best of the best MAC lipsticks. Um, these are lipsticks, in my opinion, that look good on every skin tone, on every skin color, and the formulas are really beautiful. They're pigmented, they're long lasting, and they're just really nice flattering colors. As a professional makeup artist, these are the colors that I used most in my kit. These are the ones that I typically found myself, you know, grabbing and leaning towards and using on clients and models and things like that. These are just, they're where it's at as far as MAC lipsticks go. So yes, if you were interested in learning about the best five MAC lipsticks that money is going to buy you, then keep on watching. Now I'm going to do these in order from lightest to deepest. And the great thing about these lipsticks as well is you can mix them with other formulas. You can mix them with other colors to create even more custom shades if you want. They're just so pigmented and they're so amazing and comfortable to wear and long lasting and just, oh, they're everything. <laughs> so first up, I have got Pure Zen. Pure Zen is a really, really beautiful peach pinky nude color. This one is a cream sheen formula which means it's really nice. It's like a satin sort of really hydrating formula on the lips. It's not sticky in a sense of it's like a satin lipstick that's going to like smudge everywhere and get all over your teeth and everything. The formula lasts really really well on the lips but it is the most beautiful flattering nude color. I have tried this on so many different people it literally always looks good. It's comfortable to wear. It's not too pale in the sense that it's a nude lipstick that's going to make you look a little bit like a corpse. <laughs> it's just beautiful. It is the most magical nude lipstick and like I said very hydrating very comfortable but still long lasting on the lips so yeah pure zen all right next up I've got velvet teddy now velvet teddy is a very interesting color because it's it, it's like it's magical because it transforms on every single person that you put it on on my skin tone so if you're like a medium olive yellow undertone type of skin tone like me it looks very very soft and pink on the lips however if you put it on somebody with a pink undertone with a more fairer skin tone like a fairer lighter complexion it does throw this beautiful terracotta brown if you put it on deep skin tones it looks like the most magical nude color it is just the most amazing color it looks different on everyone I absolutely am obsessed with the formula of Velvet Teddy. This is a matte formula from MAC but it is not drying in any way. It is so comfortable on the lips. It's just the most perfect balance of like a cool tone pink with like a beautiful terracotta color. It's so 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 pretty. It looks amazing laid on the lips underneath a really nice gloss or you know use as like an ombre kind of effect with like a lighter lipstick in the middle. It looks gorgeous all the time. So pretty so flattering. Whenever I wear these I'm like guarantee you everyone is like girl what is on your lips? What are you wearing? Everyone always asks me and nine times out of ten it's always Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy's a classic. Oh, I just love her. I love her. Okay, next up I've got another matte formula. This is called Meh. 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 <laughs> I've never really known exactly how to pronounce this, um, but it's not many people really have heard of or know about this lipstick from MAC. This is like one of their secret little gold mine lipsticks that kind of stays on the shelves and doesn't really jump out of you, but it is one of the best that they have. So it's actually spelled M-E-H-R. I kind of, to me, that's like meh. Meh is sort of like this beautiful, cool tone, really rich, deeper, pink kind of a lipstick. I really love that this is a beautiful deep color that's not like it doesn't look harsh on anybody. Um, a lot of the time deeper lipsticks especially on fairer complexions can look quite like a little bit harsh, like a little bit too over the top, a little bit too deep, especially for daytime wear. But there is something about this lipstick that just makes it look so good on everybody. Again, it's a matte formula, but it's still very, very creamy. Um, it's still very, it's nearly got sort of a bit of a satin finish to it, but it's definitely a matte. So it's not drying on the lips in any way. It's not uncomfortable on the lips in any way. It's just so, 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 so pretty, so flattering. This paired with like a smoky brown eye for a dinner, like literally, it makes it look like you've spent hours and hours on your makeup when you really haven't. It's just like one of those lipsticks that just, it always looks good. It always pulls a whole look together. And, you know, very similarly to the other lipsticks that I've mentioned, formula is long lasting, formula is comfortable, and it is super, super pigmented and easy to work with. Like this lipstick is gorgeous. Even for those of you who are like, no, I, I don't ever wear pink lipsticks. Pink isn't my thing. This isn't like a bright, crazy pink. It is just, oh, 
It's beautiful. If you don't like wearing pink lipsticks, try this on and I bet you will be converted. I bet you any money. All right, next up I've got a cream sheen formula and this one is Coral Bliss. Now, a lot of people prefer Vegas Vault. Like, I feel like Vegas Vault is like the coral that MAC does that everybody kind of knows and talks about. But in my opinion, and especially if we're talking about a color that's going to be flattering on, you know, 99% of the population, Coral Bliss is everything and I like it way better than Vegas Vault. Coral Bliss is a really beautiful, soft, it's sort of like a bit of a semi sheer color, but it's the most amazing flattering coral color without it being like too much like ah, in your face Like if you're not really into wearing brightly colored lips, it's a very similar color to what I've got on my lips now But like it's just it's so soft and feminine Like there's just something about it that makes it always 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 look beautiful and Like I said, this is a cream sheen So this is again a really really hydrating comfortable sort of balmy kind of texture on the lips but at the same time, it doesn't gather in the center. It doesn't smudge all over your teeth. It doesn't bleed and it doesn't rub off like instantaneously as soon as you speak or eat. It's a color that I've used on a very, very wide range of complexions. Again, all the way from very fair complexions all the way up to very deep complexions. It just always looks beautiful on every single person. You can pair it with pretty much any makeup look. It's always going to look gorgeous. I just... Coral Bliss is everything. And I feel like not many people know about this lipstick as well. This is like another unsung hero. I'm all about my unsung heroes. I really am. And then finally, the red to conquer all reds, Ruby Woo. This is a retro matte formula, so it is very, very intensely matte. But in my opinion, when it comes to a red lipstick, it kind of needs to be. This has got so much pigment in it. Like you literally only need... You could use a lip brush, get a tiny little bit off the end, and you could do your entire lips with it. It is so pigmented and it lasts so ridiculously long on the lips. Ruby Woo is a very true red. It's got that beautiful, cool undertone to it. It's, it, oh, it's so pretty. It just makes for the most magical red lip when you wear it. And because of the formula, because it is so intensely pigmented, you can wear it over lip balms. You can wear it like as a stain, like just press lightly into the lips as a stain. You can wear it underneath gloss. It doesn't budge. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't bleed. It lasts. Like this is the red lipstick that you can put on in the morning and not have to touch again through the entire day. It's gorgeous. And because it's such a true red with that cool undertone, it looks great on everybody, every skin tone, every coloring combination. Like it literally Literally always looks good. It makes your teeth look so white. It makes the whites of your eyes look whiter. It's just, it's weird. Like you put it on and all of a sudden you look neater and more put together and just amazing. There are a lot of red lipsticks on the market and a lot of them I don't love. Just not the right undertone, not the right mixture of cools and warms, not enough red pigment, not long lasting enough. But Ruby Woo for me is everything. And just disregard this packaging. This was like the limited edition packaging. It does come in like the regular packaging. So there you have it, guys. Those are my top five must-have lipsticks from MAC. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please let me know. I'd be really interested to do like a part two, like my top five nude lipsticks from MAC because in my opinion, MAC does some of the absolute best nudes out there. And I get a lot of questions from people about like the best nudes, what to get, what not to get from MAC. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in seeing like a nude lipstick version please let me know look at those magnificent colors oh, so beautiful but yes i hope that you enjoyed today's video if you did like it please be sure to give it a thumbs up and yeah i'll catch you guys all in my next one have a great day and i'll talk to you soon bye